How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another Car Mechanic Sim 2021 video. In today's video guys, we got I think our sixth story mission ready to go now. Let me double check it. Yeah, I think this is the sixth one. But looks like it is a GTR R34. 34? I think it's R34. Yeah. Um it's that's not what it's called, but it's called a Ribizan Starline. Uh, it's a Skyline GTR, but anyways Hi, it's me Johnny Johnson. Remember I visit you soon after you open up the repair shop. I See that business is good. I hope you can take partial credit for it I was very satisfied with how quickly you work and I thought you could use some advertising. Okay. Okay Okay going back to business. I have a terrible case here for you today. I Snapped it up cheap from some kid. He wasn't really aware what he was driving and how much it was worth but his lack of interest in the car is pretty obvious please take care of the bodywork and interior the car is a definitely the car definitely needs it while you're at it check the clutch and suspension elements i have doubts about them gotta wait for this text to scroll do what you have to do but don't go overboard it's supposed to work and look acceptable but i don't want to go broke okay well you're fixing up an expensive car bud I still want to make some money from it. I hope you're clear on that. I hope we're clear on that. See you. So tons of stuff to work in here. About two pages of stuff. Repair every single body part. Oil and every. So this is, might as well be a full overhaul. All right, so with these three mission type of cars like this, we're gonna start out a little bit easier. We're just gonna go take this, wash it see what we're really working with here i think it's just mostly rust really yep we are working with mostly rust come on and we'll do a little bit of interior detailing because i know he asked me to clean it out i don't know if that means detail or if he wants me to do all new interior pieces i mean the back bench probably needs to be replaced but oh look at this let me let me see right here you know it looks pretty good it's actually like JDM like it's got like it's got Japanese like writing on the uh, On the center console. That's pretty cool All right, let's hop out Close these doors get this back to the shop really quick lift a of course All right, so Give me a second. I'm gonna go through with all of my tools to diagnose all the problems Looks like it's probably a really 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 bad motor so I'm gonna go through there, check that really quick, see what I can find out. I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, so I was able to take a little bit of a peek in on some of the electrical problems that this thing is gonna be having. Uh, I can show you here, battery, coils, spark plugs. Those are like the simple things I was able to see right off the bat. Um, I also, I drained the oil, pulled off the bottom of the oil pan because I can't start the car up, so I can't compression test it. Uh, but, I was able to do this and pop it off and see there's no black scores or anything really bad because there's one pretty rusted bolt rusty bolt there but i don't think that really means too much so uh oh hold on go back to this click this click here all right but that means i can reinstall this back up in here and it looks like all we really have to do is just completely demolish the top end of this uh what is this 2jz pretty much and uh not 2jz what even what is this i can't remember what these ones are <laughs> all right well anyways it's a six cylinder uh inline inline six cylinder and i pretty much have to take off this like you can you can visibly see here what's bad uh what about the air filter air filter's good yeah a lot of stuff here is just in a really Oh my gosh, I did it again. A lot of this stuff here is just in really, really just okay shape, but you can obviously tell what's bad. So we are going to start with everything that I can visually see. And then when I'm done taking off everything I can visually see, then I'll go back and check. And I will be able to see if that is everything. All right, this definitely needs to... Oh yeah, I forgot he also said transmission clutch okay okay let's do that really quick sorry i'm snapping around over here really quick all right Whoa. all right let's get this dry shaft out of here 
So that's the only way I can access my clutch, or the clutch, or the customer's clutch, I should say, not mine. Uh, drop off starter. Oh, and guys, uh, they are, there are some people, some modders are starting to put out workshop items. So if you guys do have the game, make sure you do go and check out the Steam Workshop because there are some, some items being slowly added. Wait, did he say go check out the clutch and there's really nothing wrong with the clutch? Bro. Bro, he definitely said something was wrong with the clutch. <laughs> Let me go check it. I gotta, I gotta see this. He definitely said there was something wrong with the gearbox and clutch. Um, yeah, so he says he took it off a guy. He didn't know what he had. So it's just a bad top end of the motor, right? It's lack of interest. Uh, please take care of the body work and interior. So definitely need those two. While you're at it, check the clutch and the suspension elements. I knew it. Dude. What the heck? Alright, I'm going to pull them out because they're at 60 some percent and I don't know. Fingers crossed that could, there's actually a problem with these and he just wants brand new ones. 60s, 67, 69, 72 and flywheels at 70. Does that give us any more? It doesn't. Oh, that's painful. All right. I don't know why they would do that. I do not know why why the developers would put this mission and say that and then give me this with no, clearly no gearbox problems. Like, things pretty much brand new, but whatever. All right, let me reinstall this, and then I'll hop back onto the top end of the engine. All righty, back here on the top end... Oh, I also did unlock a few things. I should probably show you guys really quick. Let me see. Oh yeah, battery by the way is at one percent. I don't, I don't know. I haven't used the battery tender yet, but looks like I am able to save it. Nice. All right, so I do have a repair table now, so I can hop in here and repair stuff. I can't do this because this requires Renovator Three, which is a skill. And then I also, if you guys notice, I also have 147 scrap now. And that is because I have a salvage container now. So I can come out here and instead of selling like these parts that are only gonna give me like a buck or two, I can convert these into salvage or scrap pieces. And like you'll see here. So like if here, if I do a bushing here, I'll start the salvage. So if I had a plus plus, I get a big bonus. One of these single pluses, I get two. And any of the yellows, you only get one. So dang it. I do, I'll, I'll get it, I'll get it. Oh my, come on, we got it, I got it, I got it. There we go. I have not gotten a blue yet. And then there we go, I finally got it there. So yeah, you can salvage stuff down for scraps, and then you can upgrade parts, and I guess it just gives it better tuning and quality, I think is what it is. So if you take like your expensive stuff, um, like the actual tuning parts, I th think you can get higher percentage tuned parts but don't quote me on that because i'm not sure honestly i'm just assuming what it that's what it looks like also he said he wanted body work done does that mean he needs the whole body because i don't have a welder five thousand we'll see at the very very end if he does need it fingers crossed hopefully i'll still have enough money left by the end of this because this is definitely going to be a pricey build i can feel it coming now and if i do have enough money i can definitely purchase a welder to weld the body back up some dw04 definitely definitely not wd40 <laughs> yeah it looks like i'm definitely going after the right the right parts here that are broken And I am going to have to take off this front timing cover. I wonder if I'll be able to... And I'll definitely have to get... Yeah. Is that belt looking? The belt looks fine, but I do need to get that camshaft out. And then we can get the camshaft out is if I pull out the crankshaft. Oh, I got to pull off this roller. I guess it is blocking it very slow. Oh, it's attached. That's why. 
All right. Pull off this last idler. He's stuck. So doesn't want to come off. There we go. And now I should be able to pop this off. Okay, and I got to take all this. All right, I'm going to take out probably all these. I'll just replace all these spark plugs to give them new ones. They should be only like pennies to the dollar, really. Well, I'm going to go through, finish tearing apart this top end, and I'll see you guys back here with, I think, hopefully everything discovered. I'm not too sure, but hopefully everything discovered. Okay, guys, so I figured out everything that was wrong and missing. So we had two wheel hub bearings and two rear drive axles that were bad. And that's, uh, I think that's pretty much everything. So not even the whole top end but of the motor, but one side of the camshaft was bad and a few front uh, timing parts, which isn't too terrible. Um, if you guys haven't seen before, I'll show you how to really quickly go through this on PC at least. I don't know if console will have this or not. Um, so you just go through and you just hit space bar and you just select everything that is bad. Uh -oh, where was I at? Yeah, one down, okay. Keep clicking. Intake was bad, radiator fan was bad, power steering, oil filter. Uh, and this is from stuff I was doing earlier. So, there is my parts. Go to the here tab. I guess I'll just go down and click. Uh, serpentine, I do need that. Engine head cover, I do need one of those. Oh, coils are not in here, duh. Uh, rear drive axle, two of those. Yeah, see, this makes it so easy to go through and get everything. Oh, I need to quit clicking on these. Coils cover I can pick up. Uh, radiator fan I can pick up. Yeah, know what, I'm probably messing this up. I forgot, I have the repair table, so I need to use it when I can. Um, and it looks like I can't really use on anything good, but I'll use it right now, I guess. I'll show you guys. So this is the repair table. It's like uh, a lot of this stuff is like a mini game now, now, just how it goes. Um, and boom, there you go. I repaired like three parts. I don't think that really matters. I spent like 50 bucks. Uh, actually, 50 bucks doesn't matter, but I spent 50 bucks and I basically got... A couple of their things back up to like full value for I don't think I'll, I'll get any money back on that but it's really not too big of a deal uh, tab out go to the electronic shop at 7k left that's not too shabby spark plugs I'll pick up four of them I don't know if I needed four but uh, ignition coils it says I need two I think I have everything else though so I can go back items uh, wait, no, I need to go to here. Hold X clear list. There we go. All right, so my shopping list is zeroed out now, which is going to be helpful later on. Um, all right, I'll start with, I'll probably start with the, with the rear here because you guys didn't see the rear. Uh, all right, battery should be good. I think the batteries only take like, honestly, 20, 30 seconds and they're good to go. Wait, so does this put that wheel hub back in? Because I think I was missing that. Isn't that what that said? Or was the hub bearing? Wait a second, something's not right here. What was I missing? A wheel hub bearing? Let me cut to this other side over here. There it is, okay. So I do need to pop that out. So I should say I found the hub bearing by using the examination tool. So you guys are having a hard time ever finding stuff, even though the examination tool is pretty lackluster, I would say it like doesn't really do too much for you. It can find small things like that. Like I don't think I would have found those for probably five minutes after searching for a good, good amount. Uh, so yeah, they definitely, uh, they definitely can come in handy or it definitely comes in handy. I should say. I'll drop this axle back out because yeah you cannot see yeah see that you cannot see that hub bearing unless you got like eyes like an eagle it's eyes like a hawk eyes like a hawk eyes like an eagle eyes like a hawk yeah it's pretty uh it's pretty hard to see and now the suspension that he asked for being fixed is good to go so now I don't have to worry about anything there. And I'm going to put this entire 
top end back together because it's just me like strapping down camshaft so i'll see you guys back here with the top end and front end ready back or ready to go back to normal Alrighty, so the top end is now put back together and i do have oil in the engine coolant windshield washer i refilled that new i changed out the brakes uh reservoir changed out the brake booster the power steering reservoir my bad and i got the battery in so the car should theoretically start now so all i gotta do is change out all the body panels um and maybe i'll be able to repair these pieces i'm not too sure also i need to check and see if he wanted me to do the interior i don't see c anywhere right no i don't see c all i see is fenders lights and whatnot well and or the fenders that he had license plate gone so ideally here, I could save myself a crap load of money if I am able to actually repair any of this. Ah, I'm not able to, but I did forget to put the fuel rod on or fuel rail on. It's a good thing I didn't check that. <laughs> all right, now it's all back together. So that means that I got to buy every single body piece and body part to this car to be able to complete this i don't is there any way i could fix this uh good full body repairs yeah 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 it's brake lathe engine stand garage repairing body panels renovator upgrade required you know i'm already this far i might save 2500 credits if i buy this right now all right, well, fingers crossed. I didn't just absolutely shoot myself in the foot here. Let's see if this actually works. Yep. All right, just shot myself in the foot. That's that's pretty cool. Oh, that sucks. Uh, I need renovator six, which is renovator one. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a that's like literally twenty five levels away, guys. Wow, that is going to be, uh, that's painful, and I did just waste a lot of money. Well, let's see if I can manage to, uh, recuperate myself from that. I don't know. I'm just going to start buying parts and not looking up at the top right. Oh, yep, we're getting, we're getting there. And we're poor. Okay. Well, uh, let's see here. What can I do to actually recuperate some of this money here? I think it says I definitely need to have everything. Oh, 72%. So, let me see this right fender. Was this 61? Dang it. Never mind. Okay. Well, let's see if we can maybe recuperate a little bit of money. Let's sell some parts. Anything that's not above 97%. 909 bucks. Okay. Okay. Last part I bought was the left headlight. Oh, did I buy left side mirror too? I did. All right, here. I'm just going to go ahead and see if I can put on the stuff that I have. All right, do I hit the doors? No doors. I think I have the headlights. I mean, honestly, I could just do like a few really small missions in the meantime to be able to afford this repair. Okay, yeah, I got windows, windows, that, that. Okay, so I got trunk tail lights yeah okay so we're still missing a bit honestly i should have bought the full body welder in the meantime yeah instead of spending that money all right what about doors what do we got for doors 380 all right we take some doors uh let's see what we can do with that i think i have body windows i do Got the mirrors, so I can put body windows on, doors, and mirrors. Okay. All right, now I'm down to 373, so it looks like I'm going to have to take a small break here and go work on some more cars. So that's exactly what I'm going to go do. 
Uh, I'll see you guys back here with probably like, I'll probably shoot for about 3k. Uh, that'll probably be the amount I need. 3k and I'll probably be level 9 too, which would be nice. Um, so I'm going to transfer this outside to Grinch and C. Um, and what do we got for missions here? Any bonuses? Okay, I got one bonus one. All right. So I'm going to go through, get those going, and I'll see you guys back here in, I guess, a split second. Okay, guys. Got that under control. Let's see. So do I have anything left over? I don't. All right. So, buh, 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 I'm trying to think. Okay, let's get the fenders. I know what I need. So, fender, fender, front bumper, rear bumper. I know I need that. And then I need windows. All right. Oh, right here. All right, sick. So, that should work. I think this should get us on our way. I'm honestly shocked that the game is not making us do the body. Like, this is pretty bad rust on the actual body. Ooh, I need a rear window. It's expensive part. Um, it's actually pretty surprising it's not making us do that, but hey, I guess I'll take it. 600 for that one. This better be like a 15,000 credit return. Okay, we're missing the license plates, I think. I just gotta check. Oh, just just the front? Alrighty, I guess I'll just do the front then. If he's not gonna make me do the other ones. Uh, there you go. You're getting Alberta. Take it. Go back to Canada. Alright, well, that looks like that is the mission. So, we'll see what it gives us. Car's incomplete. Okay, yeah, of course it does that. All right, all righty, guy, I see you. What? I didn't have one in the first place? All right, well, there you go. Oh, my gosh, 22,000 credits. Okay, yeah, these store missions are definitely starting to pay quite a bit more, and I, yeah, so like, I do know I got a case from that, so let's open the case up real quick. All right, all right, we're going to go three. Let's go. And five. Oh, my gosh. That is incredible. All right, we're going to go two and four. Dang it. Dang it. Okay. I was really hoping for another case. Well, that's another barn find. That's like, that's like six barn finds now, I think. Let me see. Oh, still not level 10. But I do know I have quite a few barn finds just built up right here. I don't think I see anything anywhere telling me. Um, but I do have quite a bit built up ready to go. I'm probably going to wait till I hit about the $100,000 mark. And I at least can do a little bit more on the repair side. I also know I really need to have an engine tool. A brake light would be really, really cool. Welder would be really, really good. And... Definitely a paint booth. I definitely am going to want a paint booth to paint cars. But that's what I'm, I'm waiting on. Probably about two more episodes, guys, on this, like, solo. Uh, what do you call this? The career mode, I guess what you'd call it. The career mode. Probably about two more, like, full mission cars. Um, I might do one or two on my own off video. But probably, like, two more full mission cars before I actually start trying to go to the junkyard. I'd like to have 100K. I'd like to be at least level 10 and i want to have a few more tools in the shop like the brake lathe and stuff like that to actually be pushing stuff um granted i don't know what level you need to be to use the brake brake lathe um but it allows you to restore damaged discs so i can just store all my discs and start keeping all that stuff since i do got a good amount of money now but thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed the video so far leave a like and a comment down below let me know what you guys are doing let me know if you guys are playing this and on your own career mode what level are you guys because i guess i'm only level nine and i've done I think like 30 cars now, I think is what it was. I think I checked it, it was like 39 cars, which is quite a bit. But yeah, let me know what you guys have done so far. Let me know how it's going. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And I'll see you in the next Car Mechanic Simulator 2021 video.